Uh, so next up, we have uh, Mutu TV. This is uh, Dick Wolf from Mutu. Um, he's been coming to SNU Tech for a while. We're excited to see the, the demo about a uh, new way to experience music. Yeah, thank you. So media evolved. Normally, I uh, do a presentation, and this is met with skepticism, or I'll email the presentation to someone, and they'll come back to me and say, Dick, no one likes to hear about paradigm shifts. It's ridiculous. And uh, this statement can actually be read in two different ways. One, in which it would be referencing our, our beautiful UI here. But the second is in the past tense, referring to media. Media evolved. Media is evolving. <coughs> so what do I mean by this? Uh, just like big data, we are seeing an explosion of content, video content, exponential. And it's being fueled by two things, sharing platforms and social platforms like Facebook and YouTube as well as the cost of audio and visual equipment. I owned a recording studio back in Chicago, and we were making music videos for about $500 a video, professional, great quality. Uh, entry level now is a couple thousand dollars for video equipment, a couple thousand dollars for audio equipment. You've got high school students, college students, starving artists putting out professional quality media. So the opportunity, uh, or an optimistic way to say the problem, is bridging the gap between media creators. So there's a, a giant gap on YouTube. And this gap is from the huge amount of content that we have. Every minute you have 72 hours of content uploaded. There's 400 years of video on YouTube. Finding new favorites is like finding a needle in a haystack. Out of all of the record labels we have up here, that represents about 2% of the content that we pull. So our vision, our vision is to bring chaos to order, is to deliver the perfect stream of video. And uh, I'm an optimist, obviously. Shoot, shoot for the stars land on the moon. So what does this look like? It is, uh, we are doing for video what Pandora did for music, right? And this all starts with curation, then playback data and preferences, and using collaborative filtering and recommendation systems to deliver videos that people are going to love. So here's our team, the originals. Um, they've been with us for about a year and a half now. My experience includes a degree in electrical engineering. I then did SAP development for a couple of years, hardcore app mm -hmm. uh, Moved into enterprise sales doing Fortune 500 sales to small and medium enterprises. So here's our market landscape. There's really two types of competitors in this space. Right here we've got the intelligent delivery, which is known as YouTube repackagers. And then we also have your more traditional music video aggregation, uh, like the Vivo, the Muzu TV, the Yahoo Music, the MTV. And we're building something that is a totally new product. We have built a discovery system on top of a traditional music video aggregation system and no one else is doing this got two minutes you want to cut to the demo or uh well it's good demo while they questions kind of sure <laughs> minute and 30. <laughs> cool. okay so here we go Go to the demo. So it's very much like uh, Pandora of music videos, except it's a little bit more robust. So I either pick a genre or I pick an artist, and it creates a great list of related videos for me using collaborative filtering. Now, just like Pandora, I can skip ahead to the next video. Once the video ends here, so I'm going to show you, it'll skip to the next video. You can go forward, backwards, skip in a couple seconds. You can also browse and search while you're watching. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> so, 
Cool. One last second. I'm back to it. Uh, so, I am looking for a CTL. Right now, I'm pushing hard. Of course, we're looking for investors. Who isn't? But we have some investors lined up. We have a great advisory board put together. We've got one of them in the audience tonight, the Vol Shah. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of PhDs, great line of people. Essentially, if I can find the right CTO, we're looking at about two months of working together and then uh, starting to push for funding. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Questions? Questions? So what's the difference between recommended videos by YouTube and your website? Right. Um, so what do you mean? Can you repeat the question? Oh, so what's the difference between us and YouTube, how we're recommending videos? So one, the way we're structuring data is very different. Uh, the way that we're looking at the trending data versus the preference data is different. And from a very fundamental level, we are pushing you videos. So YouTube, you go and you pick a video. We are helping you discover videos. Next question. So what if they found your, your service, your excellent recommendation that you got something similar? Right. Uh, I mean, that's what patents are for and secret sauces are for. And I think that everyone's afraid people's going to steal their stuff. Next question. So you're more like Pandora than Spotify? You've got a business model angle there, or do you think there's a strong reason to be more like one than the other? Uh, so our business model is very similar to Pandora. What do you mean the question? Okay, so the question was, uh, what's our monetization strategy? Is it more like Pandora? Is it more like Spotify? And it is more like Pandora. We are doing advertising. We are doing subscription-based model and uh, selling MP3s, videos to take a commission. We're also looking at consumer data. We think that's the real gold mine, not just selling data back to advertisers, uh, but uh, record labels as well. Um, yeah, to be determined, we don't actually host the videos. So YouTube posts all the videos. We use the YouTube API, and we're an intelligence layer that goes on top of YouTube. So uh, all the heavy lifting, the hosting, the streaming, the copyrights are handled by that. Uh, can you make money from YouTube video? Can you make money from YouTube video? <coughs> yes. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> you can't put any advertisement over the YouTube video. You can put advertisements on the side. You can also collect the data and sell the data. The so yellow. why wouldn't I go on Pinterest and look at videos on Pinterest because it recommends uh, in the same category? Right. Uh, so the question is, why wouldn't you go on Pinterest? Um, and watch videos. And, and watch videos. I mean, what, what's Pinterest's specialty? Do they have a team of people that watch music videos all day? We follow hundreds of blogs, um, thousands of, of trend makers to find the hottest new music videos, and we, we catalog them in very deep sub So is the goal to introduce people to new music, or is the goal to introduce people to new music videos, or both? So the, the goal is to do both. Right? Um, music videos are the traditional form of promotion for artists. With music videos, you get to see the artist, you get to see their artistic vision uh, much more quickly. And the goal is to help people discover. Vivo is really taking over the top 100. We're chasing the long tail or the future of music, the really new artist, and helping people discover what's coming up. Have one more? Sure. Great question. We are we're just doing music videos right now. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>